the game runs fine, you're getting 200, 300 FPS, no packet loss, everything's good, but suddenly an enemy appears on the screen, or you peek an enemy, boom, packet loss. If that sounds like you, you're not alone. When I play with my friends, they often complain about it, so I guess it's time to address this. And one more thing, subscribe to the channel because 99% of you are not subscribed, so basically any one of you watching is not subscribed, so yeah, do subscribe to the channel. Anyways, first of all, obviously, restart your router, but I guess most of you are smart enough to do that, so you must have done that already, right? Okay, moving on to the second step. If you are on Wi-Fi, see if you can switch to Ethernet. If you can, good. If you cannot, no worries. We're gonna see a few other steps upcoming in the video that will help you regardless. Okay, so uh, go to the search bar and open up your control panel. Once you're in the control panel, click on network and internet. In here, network and sharing center. And once you're here, on the left hand side, you will see change adapter settings. Click on that and here you will see the connections if you are connected on the wi-fi or the ethernet so select the one that you are connected to right click and disable once you disable it you can go ahead re-enable it if it fixes the issue good great go ahead and play the game if not stick around there's more to do go to the search bar again and this time type cmd open up the command prompt and type ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. This is the Google DNS. Uh, you can choose between Google DNS or Cloudpeer DNS. Okay, for the Google DNS, we have the average of 4. Let's check the average for Cloudflare DNS. Ping 1.1.1.1. The average for the Cloudflare DNS is 3. If you are on Ethernet, the average minimum or even maximum should not be more than one digit. If it is, then go talk to your ISP. Uh, in case of Wi-Fi, this can be in two digits, so no worries about that. Now remember which one is lower, Cloudflare or the Google one. So in my case, Cloudflare one is having the lower average of 3, so 1.1.1 it is. Uh, now let's see where this number is going to be used. Go to the control panel again. Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings, double click the network and go to properties this time uh, you will see internet protocol version 4 tcp ip4 double click this and by default this option is selected obtain dns server address automatically go ahead and change it to the second option use the following dns server now in here if the cloudflare dns has a lower average so we are going to use the cloudflare one here one 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 and for the alternate DNS server, put here 1001. But if in your case it was the Google DNS that had the lower average, so what you're going to do here is get rid of the ones and zeros. And in here, type 8888. And the alternate DNS server should be 8844. Is it OK? OK. And close. Go to the search bar again, and this time search for firewall. And you will see allow an app through Windows firewall. Click on this. Another window will open up. Scroll down to find right client. And as you can see, right client is already added in my case. But just in case you do not have it added, click on change settings up here. And on the bottom, you will see allow another app. Click this, hit browse and locate right client wherever you have Valorant installed. Once done, hit open and it will be added in the list. And once added, make sure it is the public checkboxes are checked and then you can hit OK. So once you are done with all this stuff, just a little more is left. Uh, go to the system tray, click on the arrow and see what apps are running. If there are any apps that you don't really need or are eating up, the internet you can just go ahead and close them like steam is running i don't need steam right now you can see google is running for some of you it might not be the case and how to get rid of this i'll be showing you in the next step and one more thing go to the task manager in here you will see a few startup apps um, i have disabled most of the startup apps that are not really needed by me 
so you can go ahead and do the same so they don't open up along with your windows and start eating up your data now for the last step is open google chrome go to the settings and on the left hand side you will see system go to system and in here you will see continue running background apps when google chrome is closed by default this is turned on go ahead and disable it this will prevent chrome from running in the background when you are not using it if you have done all these steps and still face the same problem which is not likely to happen but just in case it keeps happening go to the system tray right click the internet icon and go to network and internet settings go to advanced network settings and you will see network reset click on this and you will have a reset now button so this is gonna set all the network settings back to default as they used to be when the system first came or how windows set it up for the first time but keep in mind if you do this and if you are connected to the wi-fi not the ethernet you might have to reconnect to the wi-fi then even if after doing all this it doesn't work i guess it's time you come to see us